In today's video, I use some polyacrylic to fix some broken solar panels that are electrically fine, but the glass is cracked. We use this first, and we coat this, and it's kind of chunky, and it works really nicely. Then I found this, and I tried to coat my solar panel with that. It worked okay, but unfortunately, it started peeling off. So I think the better idea would be to get that can of the polyacrylic and put it into a compressed air paint sprayer and spray a nice thick layer onto it. I think that would be the best thing if you're going to be doing this. Well, without further ado, here's the video. So the other day, me and Jay went and got these solar panels at the recycling center for 40 bucks a piece. They're 200 watts of power. It's amazing. And the only reason they're bad is just because of the fracture. Electrically, though, they're still working. They're still pumping up power. So I say let's clean up all the grime on them, and then we put a coating over it to make them waterproof again. Because now if we had these outside, they probably wouldn't last very long because water would seep in and corrode the panels or whatever. Bad stuff would happen. So we're going to put some coating on them after we clean them up, and we'll see how they go. Jay wants to see about... Hey, you want to see about like electrolyzing some water, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's electrolyze some water after that. Oh, awesome. I wonder how much voltage it was losing because of the... Um... I mean, that's only off of like one square foot of surface. Here, let's, uh, let's clean one panel and get it all up, and then we'll test it compared to the other one before we clean that one. Yeah, yeah, the before and after, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. It looks fine to me. Yeah. Well, as long as you can't yeah. see any like macro flaws like bird shit or whatever, I think uh, mm -hmm. it's probably okay. Just try to like sweep away any stuff like oh, yeah. that that would get jammed. I mean, it like won't really make a difference in the energy output. But it, it's probably it's it's, it's a problem because this stuff keeps falling down from the trees too. It's like I wonder milk. if we should just pour this directly out or. Um, I'm kind of worried that this will give, like, too cloudy a finish. Mm hmm You think we should do a test spot on some plastic first, just to make sure? Yeah, yeah. Or, I'm, like, even look at this. This is dried, and it's fucking, like, white, Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, yeah, man, that is pretty white. Yeah, but, I mean... I think that's kind oh, of that's what not, we want. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. It's working pretty good. Nice. Oh, you're right, it is. Ah, and it's coming back up, too. Yeah, I see. Mm. I mean, it's okay. No, we could do, like, multiple layers. You don't need to... Break that. Oh, fuck. That is coming up pretty quickly, man. I mean, the only problem is if we start scraping it up like that, it's going to get fucked because uh, then, like, part of it will always be stuck in the cracks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably right, though. We've probably done this the entirely wrong way. Oh, hey, I've I mean, made every mistake that was possible to make. I, well, then, in the end, I can just call it how not to clean so or fix solar panels. Yeah, that's true. Although, I don't know, call it my imagination. It already looks like it's clearing up a little bit. Yeah, it might be. You know, what? like, the whiteness is getting more spotty. It's mm -hmm. not, like, large swaths of whiteness. It's just starting to only concentrate in, like, the thicker areas, which is a good sign. I don't give a fuck if it's not even, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Don't Looks fine to me. Clears up anyways, right? Yeah. Looks much better than that one. And I gotta add that lead back onto this one. So we can test the voltage. Should be pretty simple. Just like go over it with light pressure. Yeah. That way you well, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that idea. uniform coating, you know what I mean? It's a shame we can't spin this and pour it in the middle and have it fan out. Because that's how they used to coat things like a, whenever NASA needed something like a hard drive made or whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, Seagate used to do that, but oh well. Just a tiny little splash here will be good. Oh. Oops. It's okay. We'll just spread it out. Yeah. Either way, it's pretty thick, that's for sure. Shame we can't atomize it and just like spritz it on there, you know. Well, if you got like a paint sprayer, I'm sure you could do something like that. That's a good point. So I have this panel sitting out here. This is the the dirty one that we have not fixed, and I added the new added the lead back on there. 
31.1 volts, that's not too bad. Of course, it's under no load. So now I have this battery with a voltmeter on it, so it's at 12.9 volts with this light, so we can connect it up to the light. And I believe that pulls 2.8 amps, it went down to 12.8 volts. And then I take this, and I connect it up to the battery, and we can then charge it. We're doing 4 amps, that's... It's already up to like 16.5 volts, that's way too high. Oh, it's already going. You just added a little bit of, what, uh, washing soda? Cool. Sodium carbonate. Okay. And it's going fine. So we have a graphite electrode from an old 6-volt battery, and we have this Allen key. We're pumping power through it with the solar panel, and it should be cleaning this. And yeah, look at that, it's already cleaning it. No, 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 you, you are responsible for what happens. Here you go, here's, here's the blowtorch. I'm just gonna stay away. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You, you, I'm just gonna do it above it so it won't burn the. But you can see the presence of more oxygen. Or oh maybe yeah. It's the hydrogen too. Yeah, it's burning red like hydrogen. You're melting the, the cup yeah, though. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm glad they didn't blow up. Okay, it's been like I'd say 45 minutes or so. Still for riding power. Water's pretty warm, that's for sure. There's like carbon specks on everything. It's so weird, I cannot find what happened to my wire brush. <sighs> oh well. Either way, this cleaned up okay. Would have been good to stay on there for a couple more hours though. Let's see what happened to the carbon. Oh, nice. The graphite didn't dissolve very much at all. So let's put the camera right here. And... I say I'll try to coat this all with just what's left in the can. There's not much left. Maybe like an inch or so in the can. And it's kind of slanting that way, so I'm going to start on this end and work it that way. Well, shit, I forgot to clean it. Okay, so I'm a total fucking idiot. I just... Oh, I got it. I just want to throw this thing away, just because it just... Fucked it up really good. I put the acrylic on there, or whatever fucking thing it is. The gooey stuff. I put the gooey stuff on there before washing it. So then I... To get it off, I sprayed it down. So now I have water inside there. It's like, oh, yay! That's the last thing I wanted. It's just like... Oh my god, I just want to fucking throw this thing away. So fucking pissed. I don't feel much water in there, but still, it's like, God fucking damn it. So I washed off this panel with some more of the denatured alcohol. And I guess, let's let it sit for a little bit to let the water escape again. That I accidentally put in there. Put a little bit of polycrylic into that hole, the, what I had left. So that can already go ahead and start drying. And I'm going to go out and get myself some more polyacrylic to cover the glass with it. God damn it. Okay guys, so went to Home Depot and they have this. Spray polyacrylic. I said let's give that a go. That might actually be better. There we go. Never even used this stuff before, so let's see. Yeah, look at that compared to Jay's. <laughs> he was kind of the guinea pig though, so... Oh well. Now we know to go with the spray can stuff. And so now it's been over a day. It's actually been two days or so. It looks like this stuff worked pretty good. I like that quite a bit. Unfortunately, there still are some issues. It looks like these cracks are still sucking in some of the polyacrylic before it dries, so I need to add some more. Now 
really sure if I even have any left. Oh, yes, good. I'd say that's about good. I may end up going another layer over it later. But yeah, I mean, it's it seems like this spray-on polyacrylic is working wonderfully. Now, this is how the wipe-on did. The wipe-on polyacrylic, whatever it is. It's like, it's a little chunky and it's... It doesn't look so good. But hey, at least it... This one's actually probably better than mine. But there are some places where it's a bit thicker and... Whatever. That one sucked in a lot there. Big hole going in there. Well, I say, let's try to charge a battery with this now. Because I just got a battery, and I'm discharging it with this little bulb. It's down to 11.9 volts. Going back up to 12 volts. It's starting to drip a little bit, but whatever, I don't care. Fuck it. Just measuring the voltage, we get almost 32 volts. That's not too bad. Take this off. Connect this to the positive lead. Move this to here. Move this onto here. Hmm? Oh, that's what it is. 4.14 amps. Look at that. And it's at 13.1 13 vol volts now. That looks perfect to me. Although that battery could definitely use a solar charge controller because we don't want to fry that battery. Okay, just had something funny happen. Plug this in just to see if it would do something because I thought it would tick over like one sixtieth of a turn. But look at this. Thanks to these interesting power connectors, we can just pop them together and then give more power. That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, I cut something. Oh yeah, solar power. <laughs> I love this. So it's been a few days, and fortunately, the one that I used the spray can on, it seems like it's made such a thin layer that it's peeling off easily. It's, it's not filling with confidence, that's unfortunate. Of course, the areas where I put it on thicker are sticking on fine. So I'm thinking maybe this isn't a good idea to use the spray on stuff because it's just it doesn't give a thick enough layer. So it'd be a good idea to go with the can of stuff, like over here. But with the can of stuff, put it into like an industrial spray painter thing, or like a compressed air sprayer, and, and you can get a nice more even coating like this, but thicker like that. Because I like how this is all nice and even, but I don't like how it's chipping away. Ah well. Live and learn. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya.